Hey guys, Mongoose here. Uh, today we're gonna be doing something cool and finally replacing my heads on my drum set. So right now, I have these clear heads. This one was on here when I got the drum set. These two, I got for free from my school's old one. They aren't even that bad. But I have this nice vintage style, uh, like sandpaper feeling almost snare drum head. I love it. I know snare heads are normally coated, but we're going to put on these, these, uh, Remo, they're kind of coated, they're skin tone, skin tone heads. Only thing about my drums is, these are, these are like jazz looking heads. My drums are actually headless, actually. I'll show you. They're basically concert toms because I like the sound and the power better. But, yeah. I did all this work myself, by the way, this. This uh, wood lacquering, and I made, I put some chrome tape on the hoops. I think it looks better with the, this used to be all black. It used to be a black kit, and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And I know these don't look good, these, these are the wood filler marks, but you know what, it shows progression. This is the best drum we did, this one. This one actually, we ripped off some of the, the grain with the with the wrap but honestly i like i like the look even though it has some dings i think it looks really good but next step will be putting a white head that says tama in black on it because i think it'd look better with everything else so yeah let's get into it and before i do any of this i have to uh show you guys what they sound like right now so this is my 13 inch and you're going to notice it's kind of cranked sounding. I've been trying out some different tuning, but... And then we'll move over um, 14 inch, which doesn't have a stand on the bass drum mount. But... This one sounds good. Sounds nice and throaty. Um, but the only problem I've had with it is the head's just so old that it's like it's really hard to tune it correctly. So now let's move on to the four tom, 16 inch. The only problem with the four tom is. When you have big toms that are that are bottomless, they're really dead sounding. And I, I ran a bottomless because, well, I want to try it out. It looks cool. It sounds like an old 80s stuff. But, yeah, let's get these heads on. All right, guys. All the heads are on. 16, 14, and 13. And look how cool it looks with this wood. And I also polished up the hoops as well. Um, with some tin foil, it actually works pretty well. So, I guess I'll give you guys a demo. Snare off and hi hat closed, so there's no. But.
Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I went a little crazy. Just, just trying to show you guys what they sound like. I think they sound pretty good. But, uh, yeah, the snare drum's black. It's a steel one. Honestly, with these white heads and all this white stuff I want to do, I want to, actually, I think it'd be cool to uh, paint the snare drum white, like a shiny white. So, yeah. But, it's been my first really drum breakdown video. Instead of like a song cover, like the one video that I made. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And in, it's short, but yeah. but that's the Remo skin tones. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.